Okay, welcome to a Friday. Let's see if we can get this in the center of the screen for you. Here is the weather system coming in for really late tonight, early tomorrow morning. There's a bunch of watches, warnings, advisories up. Real quickly, you're getting a lot of this atmospheric river stuff thrown at you. Yeah, you bet. Some of this moisture is coming from the subtropics, but it's not a traditional atmospheric river. Um, so don't, you know, it's sort, of, it's sort of funny. I mean, I understand it. People, you know, you want they want to get your attention. Um, but let's call it an atmospheric river. What an, atmos an atmospheric river looks like what we saw last month, right? That's what it looks like. It's a straight line going across the Pacific from the low latitudes um, and really not a defined cold front. You can have defined cold fronts with them, but typically that breaks it off. We've had, we were having defined fronts and separate systems. And yeah, there's some infusion of some tropical moisture. But again, just let's just call, let's not start naming things just to get headlines, right? You know, like bomb cyclone, whatever, right? I mean, they're, yeah, they're awesome. And if you're under one, the big wind event and everything like that, but let's just not tie everything to some clickbait thing. Let's just go, it's winter. It's acting like winter. The weather systems are coming in just like they are supposed to. Last night, Palisades got 13 inches of snow. I just got off the phone with Bill Hudson. He's up there. He's, uh, I can't remember what he does. He's kind of big, way up in the chain. He used to be a Olympic skier, a good friend of mine, a guy I fish with and ski with. And he said they got 13 inches up at the top, up at um, Siberia, and that, no, you can't park your van and sleep in the parking lot anymore. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, because you can't. Got to have reservations at Palisades on the weekend to park in there, which, okay. And then you can't, he goes, you can't spend the night in the parking lot. I used to do that when I was little. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, last year, but, um, he goes, you know, they, they're going to plow the snow, whatever. So you can't do that. So back to the weather systems, we've got surf, we've got tides, we've got rain, we've got snow, uh, big storm coming in about twice of what we just saw. And when I say twice of what we just saw in terms of, um, rainfall. So let's say you got an inch. Well, t tonight and tomorrow, you're going to get two inches. And in the North Bay, I'll show you some rainfall potential for the Russian River drainage basin, which is significant. They're gonna get maybe three, three and a half, four inches of rain in that basin over 12 hours. Still not enough. It'll, it'll push the rivers up, but it's not gonna, you're not gonna see major flooding on the Russian River or any of that. So, and again, that's a hype thing, right? It's like, oh, the river, flood warning, flood. You know, no, that's gonna happen. It's gonna pulse up, pulse down. Remember, rivers are interesting in that they, right? They're shaped like this, right? That's the bottom and the, the flares out. Well, the, it comes up really quickly to the monitor stage because it's all down here in this part, which is a narrow, it's the martini glass thing. So a foot of water down here adds a lot. A foot of water at the top, we, we're in the flood zone, it takes forever to get. It's like the volume of water is much, much more. So this is Heavenly Valley. Um, this is, I think this is the top of, I was going to say it's the top of Gun Barrel, but it's not. Um, they got snow. Heavenly Valley did not get as much snow, but they got snow on the hills. Up in, let's see, we can go to Soda Springs right now. I love these Caltrans cameras. Um, it's snowing. They're going to screen for chains. They're going to put chains on and off. This whole day, they'll be on and off chains. And then tonight and tomorrow, travel is going to be sketchy all day tomorrow. All day tomorrow. So if you're going to go, I would go in the next six, eight hours uh, because it's going to go, it's going to be difficult travel up there. So I can't. Uh, see if they're, that guy had chains on, but they're, on and off we're gonna be seeing chains. This is another live camera. Again, this is all done at, uh, let's see what time it is. It's 10.30, um, Donner Lake. You can see kind of wet on the road, so not quite as cold as it is at the summit. And I think I got one more, I do have one more. And I think this is Soda Springs, which is always a winner. Soda Springs just going off, right? Just dumping, that's on your way up over Boreal. Um, you see dry on the road. That's kind of good. Not dry, but wet. Um, and cars moving pretty good. But I'll tell you what, we'll check it. I don't know if I'll check it tomorrow because it's my day off. Oh, and the other thing too is I didn't, um, I didn't surf today. I, I planned to go. Um, I got a couple spots I go that are kind of face a little bit south or face a little bit south. So the huge swells come around the corner, but they can't, they don't destroy you with 20 foot waves. They're like eight foot waves. They're fun. But anyway, the winds are, have a lot more of a southerly component than we thought we would see. And so it's kind of blown out. So that's right. Because I said I was going to go surf today. And I'm kind of bummed, actually. Because I have, if you don't, here's the thing. If you don't surf 
if you don't surf two days a week, it's kind of like the weightlifting thing. If you don't surf two days a week, it's hard to surf. If you surf three or four days a week, you actually are getting better. And, you know, and I'm always getting better because I sucked in the beginning and now I just suck a lot. But I, 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 so if I, so I haven't surfed in a week. If I need at least one day a week so that I'm not an idiot in the water. So I'm not going to get that. So I'll be an idiot in the water next time you see me. Okay, so here is the model. This is sad this morning. Uh, put a circle around us. Move forward through time. There is your day today. This is right up until late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and here it comes. Boom, there it is. That's Saturday morning about 3 a.m. That's about 5 a.m. And then that is, boom, man, yeah, that's about, ooh, that's, you know, 9 a.m., 10 a.m., and then noon, see it's kicking out. Now it's, hang up, it's hanging up in the mountains. That's, that's the piece. They're going to get two feet of snow out of this next system, I suspect. Maybe a little more, especially in the northern Sierra Nevada. And then, so this is tomorrow. This is uh, Saturday afternoon, right? That looks good. And then, boo, by the way, check out Sunday. Awesome. Sunday looks great. That was Sunday. And then here comes this little tweak for Monday. And that's Monday morning. And that's just a tweak, exactly that. And then a little break. And then some wind. That's some wind right there. See the lines, how close they are as that low comes in. And this is on the 21st of December. So not quite as robust a um, quite as robust a, a pattern, a long range rain pattern as, as originally thought, but that could easily change. Okay, so here are the rain totals from the last 24 hours, over an inch. Mill Valley over two inches. Um, you know, it's about you can see these numbers, right? Point one inch in the Berkeley Hills, San Francisco an inch. So this is over the last. Um, 24 hours. So that's a pretty good little rainfall event. I'm taking that. And then this is the forecast for the next 24 hours, forecast rain. And what you're looking at here is, yes, that is the weed blower. The, you know what? Here's the thing. With the weed blowers, like it, let's blow out, let's get rid of the two strokes and let's go straight on with the electrics, okay? I'll, I love electric equipment and it's I, I think it's some area, I think even here, you're supposed to use electric. I think there's some ordinance. But the two-stroke thing, dude, come on. It's not 1905. It re, it, let's just get, just go out and purchase. I'm going to go talk to them after this. Okay, so here's the rain. And this is the, this is the next 24 hours. So this is that event late tonight, early tomorrow morning that is going to drop potentially, look at that, three inches of rain in that Russian River drainage basin. Now, that's, you got over three and a half inches of rain up around the Russian River. Now, is this the end of the world? Let's see. They got an inch of rain up there last 24 hours. They're going to get another three, maybe four inches of rain in that drainage basin. Maybe five. It can handle it. It'll come up quick. But don't, I know I get a lot of folks up in the North Bay who worry because we scare you. And I just, I mean, it, it doesn't mean I'm going to be right. But I suspect I am. I suspect that this is the high end of the rainfall estimates in that drainage basin. We'll be able to manage that much water. It'll go, the, the river will get up, especially up at Healdsburg, up by the bridge. It'll get up there where you're like, whoa, river's high. But remember what I said about rivers, right? Like this. So that last bit up here is difficult to obtain. So I'm, don't, I, 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 there's a lot of PTSD in California from wildfires and from flooding. And I get it. I'm not being cavalier at all. I'm just, don't, don't let media scare you constantly because this is that place is built to get four and a half inches of rain as long as they get a break well today's a break and then tomorrow they're gonna get four and a half inches of rain and you know what then sunday's a break so yeah, bad luck would have it storm after storm after storm and then you're gonna have flooding it's just in russian river oh by the way it's gonna flood every six seven years it's gonna flood just it is um and that that's you live there you love it there but that's what's gonna happen um, so anyway, that's, that's what we're looking at. And then you look at the rainfall accumulations next 24 hours, half inch in San Francisco, three tenths of an inch. So in terms of the gloom and doom of this atmospheric river type storm, which it's not, um, it's going to be fine. It's winter in California and it's not even quite winter yet. Okay. Slight rant, but not too much. Okay. Ocean beach, beautiful Southeast winds. You can kind of see the back spray on the, the waves. See how it's, the, the spray's blowing that way. Um, actually, I think because I'm on camera, I think it, the spray's blowing that way, but on my camera, it's blowing that way. 
That's beautiful, isn't it? God, ocean good, ocean good. Another shot of Ocean Beach. It's not really that big today. Tomorrow it peaks up, Mavericks will break tomorrow, but now we know wind advisories, gale warnings, storm warnings offshore, it's gonna blow so hard tonight. It's gonna blow 30, 40, 50 miles an hour tomorrow uh, at the beach. And I, I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be doing this tomorrow. I might if it's enough, but it, that's a lot of wind. So the surf's gonna suck, but it's gonna be big. Um, as we look at the five day forecast, I can tell you that we are um, going to be in a situation where the next 24 hours be wet, typical California winter, and then Sunday is your day. Sunday is your day. I'm actually off today, so I'm planning out. I'm, I was supposed to surf today, so I'm, I'm not. I'm not. So I'm going to have to do house chores so I can get clear for. I'm going to try to sneak in something tomorrow afternoon and then Sunday. So I'm telling you this because this is how you think the same way, right? How am I going to get out? Sunday, count on it. Just load, backload everything or front, front load everything into Sunday. Or is that backloading? Just do it. And then that's your, out, that's your outdoor day. Just be careful at the beach. Okay, that's enough. Have a nice day. Have a nice weekend. Happy holidays. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what I love. I love the questions uh, only because I feel like um, a lot of us are very like-minded and that's kind of fun. In TV, I, I was just like talking to everybody. Now I'm kind of, you guys are here. You're kind of here because I think we must be alike, which is scary. <laughs> All right. Have a good weekend.